The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it will no longer conduct elections in areas with evidence of widespread violence. The chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, while speaking to stakeholders at a meeting of INEC's Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security, which held in Abuja, said the commission will no longer put the lives of his staff and Haddock staff at risk. Professor Yakubu, while calling for stiffer sanctions on electoral offenders, said violence do impose undermine the electoral process. It is the responsibility of the security agencies to secure the environment for the successful conduct of elections. The purpose of security deployment during elections is to protect the voters, election officials and materials, accredited observers, the media, and to safeguard the integrity of the process generally, including the polling units and collection centers. The Commission is concerned that security deployment in some of the most recent elections left much to be desired. There is more emphasis on numbers of security personnel to be deployed, but less consideration on strategic deployment to protect the process, leaving voters, election officials, party agents, observers, the media, and even unarmed security personnel at polling units vulnerable to attack by thugs and hoodlums. We must adopt a different approach to election security. We must translate the new approach to reality in the forthcoming run elections, such that Nigerians will see a qualitatively different security arrangement. No thugs and hoodlums can be more powerful than the Nigeria police and other security agencies. Going forward, INEC has decided that although the Commission has no power under the law to cancel an election, it will not proceed with the process in any constituency where the safety of voters, our personnel, and election materials is threatened. Furthermore, collation of results will not proceed where the collation centers are invaded. No declaration of winners will be made where returning officers are threatened. It is extremely important also for us to know that this time around, whatever gave rise to the problems we had during the last elections, we must be able to deal with. And what I want to say is that there must be consequences for bad behavior. Bad behavior not only in, in relation to thugs, criminals, outlaws, and people who just want to upset the entire system, but our own elements, our own agents, who either by design or default will want to scuttle this process must be brought to book. No doubt can come out and commit any electoral offense on the election day without connivance from either security agents or the ILEC officials or the politicians. But when we work together, everybody knows his responsibility. But when we work together, we can thwart and stop anybody that will want to disrupt election.